Hi guys, welcome to Simply Van Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can install VS Code on Windows. Also, we will see how we can set up a Java plugin in order to run the sample Java program. So the question is like why VS Code? So currently in the market, like there are different uh, IDs available like Eclipse is there, IntelliJ is there, NetBeans is there. So VS Code ID we can use across the programming languages like uh, just we need to install the plugin for that particular programming language and it will automatically gives your tool tips and uh, it will automatically auto suggest your uh, APIs and whatever the keywords available in that programming language and that will be very easy and friendly way to uh, like a program so the best feature of VS Code is like it will automatically suggest uh, the APIs which you are going to right okay so let's proceed with uh, installation first so let's download it so go to your favorite browser so let's say vs code for windows okay so click on the first link so uh, we landed to code.visualstudio.com so here like uh, there are different download options available like uh, we have like uh, here windows is windows option is available like similarly we have linux and mac os so you can download the particular uh, installer which is required for your os so in this session we are going to install this on windows so let's click on this window so by default so you must be confused between which one we can choose this so by default it will choose the user installer so click on this windows so it will automatically start downloading your VS Code user setup. Okay, so our VS Code is downloaded. Installer. So go here and double click on this exe file. Okay, so we have to click uh, accept the agreement and click on next. So it will, uh, by default, it will ask for uh, your path to install. So let's choose. So we will keep as it is. Let's say next, which is Studio Code create icon so create desktop icon we can select that say next say install okay so our visual studio code is installed let's say finish now we can run this visual studio code so double click on visual studio code okay so we are into id so it is saying like uh, visual studio editing evolved so now like uh, we have to move our next step so we have like downloaded we have installed now set up java plugin and run sample java program so to set up java plugin so you can see this icon so extensions so go to here and we have to type java okay so uh, the first it will it is giving like extension pack for java so let's select it so it is uh, giving a popular extension for Java development that provides the Java IntelliJ, IntelliJ Sense debug and testing. Let's click on install. Okay. So you can see this uh, along with this. So it is installed automatically installed like debugger for Java, Maven for Java, project manager for Java, test runner for Java and languages support for Java. Okay. So it is automatically installed. So now let's verify if that is working. Okay so let's create new text file so select language here so select language as a java so click on java then we will save this file as a dot java file so so go to your desired directory where you want to save the java file so in my case c tools and i'm giving vs code folder inside that so i am creating test java okay okay so in tools vs code we have test java dot java file yeah so you can see it is automatically provided this class uh, public class test java okay so like uh, we have to select this so this is the like uh, very useful tooltip 
So in order to write uh, our uh, public static white main, so just type main, so it will automatically suggest uh, like method APIs, so just click on first one, so it will automatically create this main uh, class or main method. Okay, so now we have to print something. So let's say sysout. So it is automatically giving sysout. Double click on sysout. So it will give system.out.println. So here just we have to print something. So welcome to PS code Java. Okay. So now uh, we have to uh, like uh, we, we have completed the sample program. So now just we have to run it. So here you can see here it is a directly option provided for running. So just click on run here. So it is compiling. Okay, so it is automatically open the terminal. Okay, so it is running compiling your class and it is running. Yeah. So here like welcome to VS code Java that is whatever we have written here. So that is printed here. Right. So this is very user friendly IDE so that it will provide the tooltip and it is provide the options to run and debug and like uh, everything is possible via the extension. Yeah. So this way we can download and install VS code on Windows and uh, we can uh, install our desired extension for our desired programming language and we can able to run the program along with this tooltip provided okay so stay tuned for further interesting topics thanks a lot for watching